Hi everybody. Assalamu alaikum. Cut up or adjust me lights. Mm, this one? This one? This one? No. Maybe this better. I think I like this one. Okay. Um, uh, I made a live so post you know they are saved. They don't see my page, but it's okay. Mm. Hey, good. I want to share. Hmm. I can't focus on my voter's ID. Okay. See? This is me, oh, that lady. With that boy do that video. When face makes her. Not to me, Dandy. This is me. See? I'm fine, babe. Now, they got my dad no more. I don't wait till me right now. See? I don't go take me voter's ID. Tell God, thank you for that. This is, this is, this is my right. This is my greatest right of all. This is the one that can never be taken away from me. This is my birthright. It means I was born with it. It means, say, even if I lost everything we are getting at this life, me fame, me money, popularity, likability, friends, if I lost everything, if I become homeless, I can be homeless in Sierra Leone because Sierra Leone is my country. It means I still have my country. If I have nothing else, I will still have my country. But the way things are going, it look like, say, they want to destroy me happiness. I am happy when people in my country are happy. But these days, happiness is impossible to find. Even if you get things for it, you get money, you get everything. The reason why happiness is so hard to find is because our people are dying and they kill with people them. This government, this government, they kill with people them every day. It's like saying a war. It's not like say this government, they are at war with the people of Sierra Leone. What thing we do? What thing we do? How many years we they suffer? We they suffer till today we they suffer. What thing we do? This government, I will say to you without a doubt, without a doubt, is the worst government ever. And you know why I will not sugarcoat it? Because it will be unfair to my people. It will be unfair. You see, Sierra Leone, we are all the same. We are all one. We do not need a government that divides us like this, that kill us brutally. Everywhere you go on social media, there is blood, there is live bullets being fired at people. People getting beaten because they disrespect people. Even mad people get affected by this. Even crazy people. Have you, you don't see that and con since this government came 2018 to now, how many people then don't die? Doesn't this government remind you of the civil war? It does remind me of that. Me business partner, and they tell me, says, I'm pull you more for politics. Do not choose side. You have a lot to lose. I keep telling them, what do I have if I don't have my country? If I don't have my people? If I don't have someone to protect us? I wish I have billions so I could help people, so I could help my country, so I could make a difference. So when I hustle every day, I have my country at the back of my mind. And do you have a government that is chosen to help the people, protect the people? They are rather killing the people. I mean, how many youth men do you need for kill for prove a point that you are mean, that you do not care, that you will kill any, any, anybody, everybody for power? Who do you remember you want one as a leader when you're killing everybody? Are you at war with the people of Sierra Leone? Are you... Are you at war? I they feel so much pain inside my heart. I don't want for vote. All the days they are at the gumbul, I say, me, I will not vote. I will not vote for the simple fact that I don't see any reason why I for vote for APC. I don't see any reason. But then, Manabio is even out of the question. That man is a curse to Sierra Leoneans. His governance is a curse. I get that leadership is not easy, but to be this mean is ridiculous. To turn blind eye of ev for everything where they go on with people there and not even care is ridiculous. You can even pretend to like the people. 
Just pretend. How many people are dying? How many more do you plan to kill if you lost this election and you want to be in power by fire, by force? How many more do you plan to kill? Really? How many more? You cannot handle the people with care. You cannot talk to them with respect. You cannot lead the people. You are not a president for the people of Sierra Leone. You are a mistake. And I pray to God. I pray to Allah this Ramadan. Dear Papa God, if you don't watch, you don't watch Salon people, then you need to help us. Because this man who is killing our people, killing everybody and do not care. And everything they do is ridiculous and arrogant. And it's like, it's like he hates us. This man still wants to continue to be the president. Papa God, Father. I beg you this Ramadan, make you help we, we help we people them. Because some of we wait and think so we they enjoy life in a salon. We get small tea, we they enjoy. The secret is we're not enjoying life in Sierra Leone. Nobody will ever enjoy life when you watch other people suffer. Mentally, psychologically, you're going to be in a place where you feel like this is not good. You cannot be the only one that is enjoying life whilst other people are suffering. This government... This government, they feed with youth man and drugs, put them to sleep with Kush. Have you ever wondered who's the Kush they come out? I mean, why do not they arrest for drugs in Sierra Leone? This is, the, this is the time we don't take drugs in Salon Pass any other time. The youth man and then they put themselves to sleep. Who's the drug they come out? Why can't you protect our youth? These are the people that we are looking forward to for the future and you're putting them to sleep, which means... They don't even know what's going on. Is that how you want us? You want to paralyze us so we don't know what we are doing? So when you are killing people, but you get picking, when they kill the youth man them, when they feed them drugs, frustrate them, there is no job. How many? Oh my God, I cannot take this anymore. This is too much. This is, this is, this is too much. This is too much. I'm stressed. I don't sleep well. Everything, things like I'm not okay. Everything is unstable. People that advise me say, oh, Zainab, go away and come after the election. No, I'm not going to fucking do that. I'm going to vote against Madabi. I want him out. He is wicked. He is reminding me of the civil war. And the last time we asked Madabi, it was during that civil war. And now we see him again. It brings all my memory back. How I wish for a president like Pakaba, that is a father for the nation. How I wish, how I wish, how I miss Pakaba, I miss Pakaba. I miss Pakaba so much. I've just missed a president with integrity, with love, with care. I miss a president that is a father. I miss a president that when he's on the radio speaking, everybody they can sit down and surround for listening to him. Because his words bring peace to us and our people. It brings stability. In voice, it sounds like protection. Mother, you are really a terrible president. I don't know if you know what you are doing is wrong because probably you are so psychologically fucked up that you do not do, but you are killing my people. And I am so on okay. I, I don't know what to do. I don't even want to vote for APC. They are so unput together. In their party, there is no leadership. There is nothing. APC has nothing to offer me. I wish Young Kela was here today. Young Kela, if you are listening to me, you, you betray Salon people. Eh? Me, I'm not going to vote for you. But my elder brother, they then vote for you. They spend money by the diaspora. They, they invested in you. They believe in you. I argue with diaspora. They say, they say Young Kela will be the one that brings change. They like to see the way I know one votes for APC. Fuck it. I will never vote for Mada Bio that is killing my people. His government just kills lots of people. I could have voted for you. Young Kela, you cannot win the people of Sierra Leone just by one election. Because we have trust issues. We do not trust these leaders. When they come to power, they are all broke. So when they come, they just they can't take with money there and run. And they don't care. They don't have regard. They don't have respect. They don't care. They are forcing us to look the other way. They are pushing tribalism down with towards them, even if we try to ignore. Even if we want to be civilized, they are not letting us. Because tribalism only works for them. They are turning everybody against what is so important and precious, which is CRI.